Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a Ritivus HT. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Now, to be completely transparent with you guys, Ritivus did send over these little HTs for evaluation in exchange for this video. But let's go ahead and jump over to the workbench and take a quick peek at these. So we're not going to do a traditional unboxing of this radio, but I did want to give you guys an idea of what's included in the box. Basically, we get all of the standard accessories that you're used to getting. So we get the base uh, for charging the radio. Uh, this one comes with a 110 power plug, so not USB compatible. We get a lanyard in there. We get a belt clip. We get the 1400 milliamp hour battery. We get a standard little short rubber duck uh, antenna and we get the radio itself. Now, one thing I don't care for, and I know a lot of manufacturers are going to this, uh, the belt clip that we have attaches to the back of the battery itself. I prefer it to attach to the back of the radio instead. That way I only need one belt clip and I can just swap out the batteries without having to purchase multiple belt clips. Now, one nice thing about these radios is if you take a look on the side, you've got the same Kenwood style connector that you've got on the Baofeng UV5R. So all of the accessories should work between the two radios. And this radio is programmable by Chirp. Now I haven't programmed this particular one. I just grabbed this one out of the box for this video. Let's go ahead and turn this on real quick. And one thing to note here when you first get this radio, uh, I have seen other videos online that say it will not go into VFO mode without a special uh, key combination. Mine actually, by just pressing the pound button, would go ahead and go into VFO mode. If you do get one that doesn't go into VFO mode by simply pressing the pound key, go ahead and shut the radio off. Press and hold the 1 and 7 at the same time and turn the radio back on. And that should go ahead and open up. I'm going to cut that back off and back on one more time. And that should go ahead and unlock it so you can get into the VFO mode by just pressing the pound key. So I did go ahead and get one of these radios programmed for my local area with several repeaters. And I've been daily driving this thing for the last week or so. Now, one addition that I made or one modification I made is I did get rid of the stock antenna and I added one of the signal stick BNC antennas. So I put the adapter on here that goes uh, from SMA to BNC and then grabbed one of the signal stick antennas and guys i'll leave links to this particular antenna down in the description below this is pretty much what i rock on all of my ht radios so what's my overall impression with a little redivus rt85 well i gotta say i like it uh, i don't think you can beat it for the price and i think it feels better in the hand than the baofeng uv5r and when you can pick these up uh, for less than 30 bucks a piece, I don't think you can go wrong. Now, I do have a very specific project in mind for this or the Baofeng UV5R that will be coming up soon on the channel. So stay tuned for that. I think you guys might like that little project. All right, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.